It's about modeling our perspective on something truth-like to the best of our abilities, knowledge, know-how, and intellectual curiosity. See, I'm a philosopher and the founder of PlankSeb. My goal is to have 10,000 exclusive Athenians from the classical age to reign supreme over our current way of life. Better yet, the goodness we've been talking about for the last 2,500 years is all around us, within us, and PlankSeb hopes to bring that out, currency of sorts, to feed into our exclusive membership cooperative. We explore the arts, philosophy, and culture in ways you can only imagine. I wanna stress that this is not a selling campaign. None of us are here to sell you something. First and foremost, we wanna tell you about our philosophical publication and our free membership. Anyone can join PlankSip and register to be a contributor. This open access is what we refer to as our soft published environment, meaning that our writers can share pages, articles, essays, commentary, or blog posts on our platform, but don't get the benefit of our editorial services. The membership is the starting point for someone to make that leap from passive consumer to active participant. Our membership cooperative of over 2000 members has only a small percentage of paying customers. This was our base, the dedicated philosophers from throughout North America and beyond. In fact, a society inspired by wisdom is the safest bet we can place. Take the field of biology, for instance. Should theology be studied in tandem? Are the two compatible? Reconcilable? Who decides? What do we as a society advocate for? What legacy do we want to leave our descendants? This does, however, require that our belief systems have to change. Honestly, I don't know exactly how to get there, but this is a publishing agency, a membership cooperative, and a talented group of content creators. We want to hear from you. Let's begin with a simple if-then-else statement. If you attend a PlankSip sponsored event, then you will be blown away, else you will not. I can imagine what it's like to be standing in front of Raphael's masterpiece, The School of Athens. The tunnel effect would make it feel like Plato and Aristotle were coming towards me. And then, in a blinding flash of light, I realize it's me coming towards them. My entire perspective shifts. No one individual can seriously make the claim that their individual perspective wins out on all others, yet convergence is possible. Ideas replicate, myelinate, and replicate some more. You see, we are social animals, and the way we interact helps shape who, what, and why we are. There is no escaping the eusocial determinism otherwise known as what it's like to be a sapien. My rhetoric is revealing and playful, and yet I want to see this through. Stay, listen to what we have to say, and if you have any questions, make sure to keep asking.